Hi everyone. In today's video, we are diving deep into the Linux Audit Framework LAF on OpenSUSE Leap, a must-know security tool that lets you track and log every critical action on your system, whether you are a home user, system administrator, or security enthusiast. This is your complete step-by-step -step guide to auditing in Linux. In this video, we are going to cover what is the Linux Audit Framework? Why should you use it? Setting up and configuring LAF on OpenSUSE Leap. Real world examples and practical use cases. Analyzing audit logs like a pro. Before I continue, I would like to say I strongly recommend reading the official manual for further information on Linux Audit Framework. I will leave the link in the description below. Here is the components of Linux Audit. These straight arrows represent the data flow between components, while dashed arrows represent lines of control between components. Audit D, the audit daemon, writes the audit messages that were generated through the audit kernel interface and triggered by application and system activity to disk. The way the audit daemon is started is controlled by system D. The audit system functions, when started, are controlled by slash etc slash audit slash audit.conf. Audit CTL or audit control, utility to control the audit system. It controls the log generation parameters and kernel settings of the audit interface and the rule sets that determine which events are tracked. Audit rules. The file slash etc slash audit slash audit dot rules contains a sequence of audit CTL commands that are loaded at system boot time immediately after the audit daemon is started. AU report or audit report. The EU report utility allows you to create custom reports from the audit event log. This report generation can easily be scripted, and the output can be used by various other applications. For example, to plot these results. AU search, audit search. The EU search utility can search the audit log file for certain events using various keys or other characteristics of the logged format. AU trace or audit trace is a utility traces individual processes in a fashion similar to S trace. The output of AU trace is logged to the audit log. AU last or audit last prints a list of the last logged in users, similarly to last command. AU last searches back through the audit logs or the given audit log file and displays a list of all users logged in and out based on the range of time in the audit logs. And AU last log or audit last log prints the last login for all users of a machine similar to the way last log command does. The login name, port, and the last login time are printed. The Linux audit framework is a built-in system that logs security related events, making it an essential tool for monitoring unauthorized activities, tracking system changes, and ensuring compliance. Unlike basic logs, Linux Audit Framework provides in-depth tracking of system calls, user actions, and file modifications. Now open a terminal and check if audit is installed by running this command sudo zipper search audit asterisk. In case if audit not installed, install it by running zipper install audit. Make sure that audit service or audit daemon is started and enabled. If it is not, run the command system control enable now audit d.service. You can check the existing audit rules by running the command sudo audit ctl space dash l. The audit daemon is configured through slash etc slash audit slash audit d dot conf. Some key options include 
log file equals slash var slash log slash audit slash audit dot log defines where the audit logs are stored log format equal row specifies that logs will be in row format max log file sets the maximum log file size in mb or megabyte before rotation occurs num logs determines how many rotated logs will be kept before deletion space left action defines the action taken when the disk space is running low disk full action specifies that the system should halt logging when the disk is full let's define some audit rules and audit runs by root user so i switch it and i use sudo to be root for the coming examples to create an audit rule you can do it in two ways on the fly or permanent if it is on the fly nothing will be saved and after the reboot you will lose the configuration if you don't want to lose the configuration you have to write the rules in audit rule file to create a rule on the fly you use the command audit ctl for permanent configuration it is better to create a file for each configuration under slash etc slash audit slash rules dot d because the default file audit dot rules is generated by using the files created under rules dot d the first example here monitor access to critical system files like slash etc slash pass wd here we created a rule on the fly to monitor and watches anything happen to slash etc slash pass wd so let's give an explanation for the arguments here slash w space slash etc pass wd watches the etc slash pass wd file for any modifications slash p space rwxa specifies access type to monitor r read operations w write operations x execute operations and a attribute changes like ownership permissions dash k space pass wd underscore access assigns a keyword to filter logs related to this rule to make it easy for you when you search for this particular logs in the audits so if I rebooted the server now, I will lose this configuration. To make the rule permanent, all you need to do is to create a file for it, ending by dot rules, under the path slash etc slash audit slash rules dot d. So here I created a file passwd underscore access, and as you noticed that the rule is written anything after the audit ctl command. So this is how you place the rule in a file and this is how the audit ctl will read the rules written in this file so now here i restarted the service of audit d and when i do a cat on this file slash etc slash audit slash audit dot rules we will see that the configuration that we placed in that file it is written here because here there is a comment in that file this file is automatically generated from slash etc slash audit slash rules dot d so any file you place in that path audit daemon will use it to generate the rules and place it here now let's say you want to detect unauthorized access to a home directory so we can run this command audit ctl and we are going to watch the documents folder or directory under the user home folder and we are monitoring the read operation and write operation and changing in permissions and we give or assign a keyword to filter logs related to this rule home underscore docs and we listed the existing rules now by running the command audit ctl l and here I cat the file slash etc slash audit slash audit dot rules to show you that this rule is not there because we didn't write it and save it in a file under the path slash etc slash audit slash rules dot d. 
So I hope this point is clear now. You have two ways to create rules or audit rules on your system. One will be in the running session. Once you reboot the system, you will lose all the rules. If there is any rule you want to keep it going, you have to write it in a file and save it under the app path slash etc slash audit slash rules dot d. And don't forget to restart the audit daemon. So let's explain the parameters here. Dash w and the path monitors access to the specified directory. Dash p space rw a logs read write and attribute modification events dash k space home underscore files helps filter logs for this rule another example and i'm sure most of you will like it log all failed login attempts let's break down the command audit ctl dash a space always exit ensures the rule applies on system call exit dash f space arc equal b64 filters for 64-bit system calls dash s exec v monitors command execution attempts dash f success equal zero logs only failed executions dash k space failed logins assigns a keyword for filtering logs you can monitor any changes happen to the sudoers file by using this rule dash w space slash etc slash sudoers watches the sudo configuration file dash p w a logs write and attribute changes dash k space sudo changes helps filter logs related to sudo modifications you can track usb device insertions by creating this rule and as we stated before this will be on the fly if you rebooted the server you will lose the rule if you want it permanent you can create a file under slash etc slash audit slash rules dot d directory to break down the command dash w watches the usb device directory for changes dash b r w logs read and write attempts dash k usb insert keyword to identify usb related events in logs you can view the audit log in real time using tail f for continuously displays new log entries as they appear as you can see here a log that slash etc slash pass wd has been accessed changed because i did some changes for the slash etc pass wd and it's already logged in the audit log file you can search for specific events by using the command eu search and using the keyword that used to identify this kind of events eu search command searches through audit logs and the dash k space pass wd underscore access filters logs related to the pass wd access rule you can check file access and generate report about it using the command au report here au report space dash f space dash dash start space today au report dash f generates a report of file access events dash dash start today limits the report to events from today only you can check failed login attempts by using this command au report space dash au for authentication dash dash failed space dash dash start today failed reports failed login attempts start today restricts results to today's data to generate a summary report related to authentication event you can use the command au report space dash au now you have a decent functional Linux audit framework set up on OpenSUSE Leap. If you found this guide useful, smash that like button and subscribe for more OpenSUSE and Linux security content. Happy auditing and thanks for watching.